Hey guys, Christian here from Core Electronics. Today we're gonna to get started with Circuit 3B from Project Set 3 using the SparkFun Redboard. So in this circuit, we'll be using an ultrasonic distance sensor to be able to light up an RGB LED depending on um, the sensor's proximity. The good thing about this sensor is that unlike the servo, it doesn't require a library. Uh, so we can just write the code for it. So the HCSRO4 that we will be using has four pins. It's got a VCC, a ground, a trigger, and an echo. So the trigger pin essentially you set to high for 10 microseconds. And once that's been done, it'll send out eight 40 kilohertz pulses. Um, and the echo pin will um, wait for those pulses to come back. And once they do, we divide the distance by two because we have to take about, we have to take account for the time for it to get there and for it to get back. And then once that's done, knowing the speed of sound, we can actually compute the distance of the object which reflected back those high frequency waves. So let's get started assembling it. So up the top here, we will try and put the sensor as close to the edge of the redboard as we can um, so that its um, reception isn't halted by um, the breadboard or the base plate from the redboard. So we'll be using the trigger pin to be on pin 11 and we will have the echo pin on pin 12. So these two pins are essentially crossing each other. Uh, next we'll hook up the power bus. So we want ground on ground and we want power on power. And finally, the RGB LED. Remember to connect it with the correct polarity. So the longest leg is the negative pin. And from left to right, they will go RGB, red, green, blue. So we'll connect the resistors across accordingly, making sure that the metal legs of the resistors don't touch each other. And then we'll connect that up. So red will go to pin three. Um, once again, we'll be using a PWM signal to write this um, LED to specific colors. So we will want to connect um, those to PWM pins. So three, five, and six will be the pins that we're connecting them to and the ground connection or the LED will just go to the ground power rail. So that's our circuit set up. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to connect it and we will open the SIC code for this circuit. So what they've said here is essentially what we've just connected up. They're once again using this const int to save uh, space on the redboard. So the trigger pin is connected to pin 11, the echo pin to pin 12. Um, 11 is a PWM pin, and we need that to send out the eight 40 kilohertz um, waves. Uh, once again, three, five, and six, and we have a global variable float. Um, called distance that's set to zero initially. So here at serial begin, um, we're initializing the serial com port with um, 9,600 board rate. Um, we're setting trig pin to output as it's outputting the waves and we're setting echo pin to input as it's inputting, uh, as it's receiving the waves. And once again, the RGB pins are outputs. So distance um, is now set to get distance, which is a function down here. Now, the way that get distance works is it is going to convert um, the 
output signal uh, or the, the receive time um, using this pulse send function uh, into a distance by dividing the um, echo time by a um, constant. So this constant will put the um, will put the calculated distance to be in inches. Now up here, um, we're going to be printing out this distance after it's run through the get distance function and it's going to say that it's in inches. So if the distance is less than or equal to 10 inches, um, we're going to light up the LED pin, uh, we're going to light up the RGB LED red. Um, if it's between 10 and 20 inches, it'll go to yellow and if it is outside of that, it'll be green. So it's kind of like good, warning, bad. Um, and then we'll delay that so that there's time for this sensor to actually reread the value at it. So yeah, as I said in here, this get distance function, so we've got two floats up here. Um, one is the one that we're going to be returning called get, uh, calculated distance, and the other one is the echo time. Now the echo time is read um, using a function called pulse in, so it's waiting for the echo pin to go high. Now, since the microcontroller is so fast, um, from writing the trig pin high and then writing it low again for that 10 microsecond time so that it can output those waves, um, it's essentially instantaneous. So it's gonna know straight away, oh yeah, I'm waiting for this pin to go high and then when it does, I'm gonna return the time um, that it was high for. Then, yeah, we're gonna divide this by the constant that'll put it into inches, and then we're gonna return that back into here so that we've saved distance. So all that said, we will upload this to the breadboard. So it's done uploading, and you can see that there's an orange and green effect. Now the reason for this is that the HC SRO4 actually has a cone um, effect. So it has 15 degrees from the horizontal where it can measure all the way around. So sometimes your table, your breadboard, your base plate can get in the way of this. So now it's uh, green. If I bring my hand there, it's orange or yellow. And then as I bring it closer, it should go red. So this is within 10 inches. This is within 20 and between 10. And that is outside that range there. So that is how we are able to read a distance from the HC SRO4 um, ultrasonic distance module and uh, light up an LED accordingly. So that there has been circuit 3B. I hope you guys enjoyed it and come back for our next circuit, circuit 3C, which will finish off project set three and incorporate both the use of a servo, which we saw in our previous circuit and the use of this ultrasonic distance sensor. See you guys there.